What up, people of the world? Special Caesar here coming at you with more sweet video game action. We are back with more Divinity Original Sin 2, so kick back, relax, and enjoy. And if you're having a good time, don't forget to leave a like or a comment in the section down below. It does go a huge way in helping support the channel, so I do greatly appreciate those who take the time to do so. Diving on into where we left off, we were running around with the crystal eye we found in Mordus's cave. Not sure what to do, so we came back to Mordus's basement, and we've just found this skull. Skull. As far as locks go, this one's pretty macabre. And voila. Is there nothing in here? All right, there's a hat. I'm going. Puzzle. It's a puzzle room. Oh. Okay, uh, so this is like air symbols. More air. A little air. Oh, it makes some fire. Just seeing what's in the room beyond. There doesn't seem to be much anyway. Even if we do get through some sauce on the floor, some more. Well, a couple of sarcophaguses might have something in them. Oh, wait, there's some gems or something here in the middle. How intriguing. Well, the lock is glowing in that spirit hole, isn't it? Uh, okay. There seems to be. We fire. But we only need items. Can you see that as well? Yeah. So you got the three. And that way. How did you do that? How did you change it to fire? If uh, two things are next to each other, it turns to fire, it seems. I see. Yeah, you appear to be right. How many pots are there that we can move there? So there has to be one here and one here. So you get and then one here. And then I stand here. No. Have I got anything in my inventory. Okay, 
I get how can a corner one be fire, but the other two next to it be water? That makes no sense. Because you need two to turn it to fire in the first place, and it's in the corner. Oh my god. Well, corner, you can make a corner in fire, right? But... How? No, that corner is fire. Oh, uh, yeah, but I mean, water on either side of it. Oh, right. Um, That's impossible. Let's take everything off the board. Make sure you leave the face with the mask on. So that makes. So this seems a little tedious, guys. We'll be back in a few minutes once we've figured out the puzzle, the solution to the puzzle. Okay, guys, welcome back. We managed to figure out the puzzle. It took about five or ten minutes, but we got through the door eventually. Now just work out what's down here. Looks like more puzzles. Yes, but more importantly, there's a nice mug of blood. The bones will shatter. The bones will rise. The glowing corpse looks to you. The erratic rising and falling of its sternum is accompanied by melodramatic gurgles. Come, come to me. The creature murmurs a series of unfamiliar noises that amount to absolutely nothing. The creature groans unpleasantly. Okay, so there's someone in here. There's a desiccated undead who seems to be attached to this mechanism. Oh. oh, you did it. Uh, I think there's going to be a lot of stuff there. Or well, at least he's on our side. Why would you use a fire barrel on a water barrel? Fire ball on a water barrel? I don't know. Sometimes the AI is really smart and then sometimes it does that. It does really dumb decisions. <laughs> oh dear, what did he do to me? First, yeah. Oh, 
boy's gonna smack ya. <laughs> he froze himself. Hilarious. Damn it, man. Haven't you ever heard of focused fire? What? How did I miss my go? God's sake. Did you get frozen or something? Yeah, I think I was frozen. Hey, frozen again. Um, <laughs> I, can, I can kill you. Uh, there you go, I'm not frozen anymore. Thanks. Take my turn and kill someone. Now, passion your person is very soon. How about that? If you want, I can always Phoenix dive now. Yeah, I don't really have any um, good options this round. I can send the full downs. Right. Yeah, she's on her own little elevated position. There's a ladder there, though. Yeah, my thing can't take ladders. Yeah. I didn't realize it was a platform. Interesting. I'll set the place off. Yay. Smacky. Does your mace have a chance of knocking down? It does, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Where's my there we go? Magical arts. For that, I'll leave you alive and untasted. For demolishing Mordus's minions, I'll give you a skill book of your choice. I've been doing nothing but waiting while Mordus kept himself alive and alert with my sauce. Here, just speaking of which, allow me. The undead creature bears two rows of broken, cratered teeth. Stay out of my way. Damn it. So what did he give me? What book did he give me? I didn't. I demanded he tell us the truth about what's going on here and he's like, shut up and take this book. Gave me one for Scoundrel. No. <laughs> That's why I said damn it. Never pick the right option. Could have been something good as well. Oh, there's an acid stained key in the corner. I'm gonna put some buttons. Yeah, do it. I press the yellow and then the green button to open it before. No, there's not any pressing. Damn it, I think the source book he gives you is the main thing. Oh, there's a locked chest here. Maybe that's what the key does. Yeah, I think so. Oh, wait, there's a ladder. Uh, that just takes you up to there, okay. Is it crossed off in the journal now? Just says we freed the leech, hungry, it quickly fled. Well, that was another disappointment. I should have just chosen a bloody skill book. So much for getting plot. Where to now, sir? Good question. Oh, I know what I need to do. I need to talk to the guy in the dock again. Because we've got some information about the Queen. Over here. Weren't you looking for an invisible person as well? Was I? I don't know, at one point I think you were. An invisible person? Sounds hard to find. Is there anyone in town who can repair items as well? I don't know. Uh, you what? The guys we spoke to, the magisters who gave us this quest, have now vanished. Oh no, he's here. There you go. Don't talk to them. Okay. 
Here I still am, and here you still are. Adrift and bloody driftwood, yes? Have you anything to... In short, travel west in search of a dwarven base of operations in the treacherous Reaper's Bluffs. Should any such place exist, it would be very opportune indeed should you stumble across any correspondence between Loha and Queen Justinia. Can't describe it to you any plainly than that. We need correspondence evidence between Loha and the Queen. Buying or selling? Capital. Good luck to you. Oh yeah, that was a bit dumb. Well, was. You know, I just might have uh, started to cast uh, Spirit Vision in sight of a sort of a magister. Wow. Oh. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs dropped in a vat of vinegar. Well, don't come over. Not like you're buying anything. If I don't come visit your ton, who will? Wouldn't you like to know? He's got no more repair hammers either. Smells worse over here than a dozen rotten eggs. Did you just do something? I got 2,000 experience. Uh, I just killed him, I just said. Oh, okay. And then immediately after, <laughs> this guy just goes out. If anybody sees anything, just tell the magisters. <laughs> There's me looting the corpse of one of them in the middle of his shop. <laughs> nice. Oh, so Loha, now we can see him. Because you, oh, you cast an magic spell, didn't you? you can oh, see did you hear? So Loha, yeah. Running around somewhere. Right, let's have a look. Truth of Light Cattle, Driftwood Arena. Oh yeah, did you find the the key, the the treasure chest for the Driftwood Arena? Arena yet? No. If any of you or, so much yeah, I don't know how it works. But, place, yeah. You tell the magisters. It says it takes a champion to yeah, claim the prize. You can get back to work. Whatever that means. If any of you see so much as a rat's hair out of place, you tell the magisters. Then we can get them out, and you can get back to work. Are you murdering people again? No, it's self-defense again. Right. Look, I've got a right to defend myself. Yeah. You're not going to make me feel guilty for it, okay? <laughs> okay. I like how it's completely okay for me to walk around with this giant bone spider. 
But as soon as you do something to make yourself be able to see the ghost, they're like, ah, oh, that's jail for you. <laughs> Ah, uh, yes, you're making it rain blood. That's okay. But you summoned your wolf. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Right, I say we go back to adventuring east. Yeah. Since everything else the other way is mixed. But we're supposed to be going west to find the dwarfs, but it looks like everything over there is clear, so I'm not sure what we're meant to do. I think we that. found the dwarfs, didn't we? They're just all dead. Well, no, there's a queen somewhere. Like, oh, no, that's the boat. We, we have to go to Ark for her. She's going to bomb the city of Ark. Yeah. How do you... What boats? I don't, I don't know if we can just go back to our ship and sail there. Oh, I so see. I, I think that might be like the end of this area if we do that. Yeah, I think so. But he did say we should rush, but... Oh, there's a chest up here. I wonder how you get up there. You just walk. There's probably nothing up here. Ah, that's some money. Where is that sat statue? I might go and try and light those flames on that statue that you're on. Just so you can try and clear up everything from over here. Yeah, good shot. I'll go the opposite way, and if you can't, you can just teleport to me. I think one of my favourite things about this game is even though you have to run all over the place, you can just use your camera and then just click there and like do nothing. As long as it's the right sort of path. Yeah. Past the bush creeper's house, back to the cemetery. Boots to do. I'm not wearing an amulet anymore. Oh yeah, you nicked it off you, didn't you? Yeah, I forgot. Completely get that. Maybe there's not like an oil barrel or something. Wanna blow it up? Yeah. Maybe you have to light them in a specific order. Or poison will go up, isn't it? Poison explode. Do I have a... I have a poison spell. Which that helps me have a blend. Oh, there's a What does Tarquin want us to do again? Something to do with finding... Ah, you again. Can you Any come to me? <laughs> oh, you bastard. <laughs> Oh, it's all right. If not, I'll uh, feeling your advancing struggle. age, are you? I never matter. I don't mind repeating myself if I must. I'll even use language any simpleton can understand. Find the tomb where Joanna Surrey is buried. Retrieve the mysterious heirloom that was Tarquin inside. I hate to sound so condescending. Do enjoy yourself in the crypts. Yeah. Do you want me to come to you? Yeah. If you can teleport, that would be great. And then just pick up these two barrels. As, uh, My nice yeah. strong man. <laughs> right, and let's run down for a statue in the back.
Oh wait, I just thought I might have a way of doing this myself. So I think the fire that I eat, my wand makes stays around. Torches are still going out, I think you have to light them instantaneously. Huh? Where the barrels go? Yeah, they're not in my inventory. What? Yeah, the barrels aren't here. Yeah, they are. Where? Uh, they're ooze barrels. Yeah. I can see them in yours. Where are they? Oh yeah, I can see them now. Green. Got them. It's being blind. Should I put down two? Yeah. Let me see if I've got anything else to add to this situation. Alright, let's blow it up. What what's happening to the shrine? Hey, it worked. Good job. Rakas Rex! Oh, here we go. Damn you to this hell in which I suffer! God damn these burning flames! All that's twisted, all that's profane, all that's immeasurably cruel has been touched by Bracchus' withered hands. I knew him. I knew his secrets. I saw his rise and fall as woven into the tapestry of time. He branded my truth as blasphemy, and I burned for it! Just when the agony subsides, another pilgrim makes her way to the shrine and puts flame to oh, the torches. Dear. They think to honor me. Instead, they incinerate me. I live that horror. The truth invites danger. Some would sooner be swallowed by the void than tell it. Wait. Wait. You. I see it. You, too, follow a path consumed by fire. You must take my gift from among the flames. With it, you will know truth. With it, you can... The rumble reaches a deafening forte, then dissipates. The voice is gone. Only the whisper of the wind fills your ears. This is the most disappointing loot ever. <laughs> is it? I'll say the choices. There's a fancy mushroom. Uh, there's a medium air resistance potion. And... Or, uh, shackles of pain, which I already know, skill book. And you also get a poison wave scroll and 42 gold. Jeez. That wasn't worth me teleporting. <laughs> now I've got to run all the way back. Oh wait, there's a book as well on the book of prophecy. I'll read that. Which means can't reach. Alright, let's teleport. There's no waypoint. Oh, I don't know what that meant. Wait, how did you teleport? You can teleport from your map. Oh man, I never knew that. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you go? Oh, over there. Okay. I think that crypt you went into that set off the dog is the crypt we're supposed to go into to find the treasure. 
I assume. We want that set up by now, we want level 13? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. 15. Okay. I'm sure we can handle it. Now that I know how powerful I am. Oh, the Freshbound chest, maybe we can pass it here. Isn't that one that you need the password or something? Oh, maybe we yeah. Have we been down into the Shadowed Tomb? I don't know. I think. Well, I'm at the dog in the thing. You can teleport to me if you want. Charnel House. Oh, uh, we have been here, I believe. Yeah, I remember doing stuff with the puzzles. Are you in battle now? Oh, he's coming for me, of course he is. Oh, you're in the fight. <laughs> yeah, I came out of oh, that I got way. the door closed to see if I could uh, mess with all the door closed. No, it's a teleporting dog. Well, that's okay, because the big guy's not with him. Yeah, it's divide and conquer. You might want to go and run inside the tomb, because that big guy might... I don't know, you can, you can kill him when yeah, you... Pretty hard hit him, though. I've got him. If you can move into the... Like, just into the, the square a bit more, if you've got any movement, that would be very well appreciated. Ah, Shikaka. Family, something missed you. <laughs> Blamo. No, I don't know. It bounced off the gate, didn't it? Identified boots, silver glass, gold, teleportation scroll, high quality essence. Oh, 
Well, there's someone here. Grave. There's a gravekeeper woman. She hums quietly. The notes move in rhythm with her wandering eyes. There's also a tomb that we can go into. Which is what that dog was guarding. And a grave I can dig up. You're not meant to dig up graves. There's no body here. Only a pile of rocks. There's no body. There's a letter inside. Thought you were clever, huh? Come dig me up, see if I had any coin on my rotting corpse. Maybe my coffin could pay the debts I could not. Fool, you'd better... You have... You'd have better luck milking these rocks than you would have seeing a penny for me. A Flynn will beg, a Flynn will gamble, but a Flynn never pay, repays his due. As for this Flynn, well... While you rummage through your dirty grave, I'm already nibbling... I'm already nabbing what's not so rightfully mine. You win some, you lose some, my friend, unless you're canny enough to fake your own death. And then you only win. Victor. Faked his own death, did he? That's one way to avoid debtor's prison. Isn't Victor the guy who asked us to come into the... Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Have you gone into the tomb? Yes. Cool. There's a lot of petrified people in here. I think we should loot. The petrified woman cannot speak, but her eyes gl So I think I can kill them as well, just here. But do you not get petrified again? No. Oh no. Identified staff, male armor, terrain transmutation. Alright. Well, um do you want me to free Quakwana? Yeah, see what she has to say. I'm guessing the staff is what he's after. Well, I'll send it to you for now because obviously it's the kind of thing you'd rather really use than me. But... Yeah, probably not going to use that because of uh, two handed, right? I think because bouncing shield is really like one of my best damage options as well, weirdly. Yeah, a shield and a wand is a good combination by those things. She purses her lips and coyly tilts her head. Oh, but do forgive me. I haven't offered you proper thanks. She bows in insincere reverence. Her arm rests on her back, hand mere inches from her staff. Oh, we have to murder someone else we've helped. She rises from her bow, the deep blue veins on her face. Oh, honey, I oh, know this isn't the way you wanted it to end. But Anathema is still out there, and I'm not keen on competition if you get my drift. A jolt of cursed fire flares from her star. Ring it. What's Anathema? In World of Warcraft, it's a stat. Yeah? Yeah, a powerful one. Maybe that's a reference there. Yeah. Oh, she's gonna get a bit of a smackdown. Nope, that's English for it. Oh, God. It's just not fair. <laughs> you do so much damage. <laughs> Brutal. <laughs> I like how she was condescending you be like, oh honey, I know this isn't how you wanted it to end. Yeah. There's a tomb on her that you might want. I think you've already got it there. Yeah, that's the uh, spine. But also, um, Anathema could be a person. No, this is said by locals to be a shard of the infamous weapon known as, knows as Anathema, and perhaps even responsible for causing Johanna Suri's descent into madness. If the aging dowager was ever aware of the family heirloom's value, she never let on. In the months before her death, Johanna's mind was lost to hate and hallucination. 
she would come to mysteriously chant 213 at the, ser at the few servants that remained as they attended to her bizarre beauty rituals by the dot dot dot. You notice the same succession of numbers mentioned in the text has been scribbled in the page's margins 213. So I'm guessing it's a code to something all in the family. Just got updated. Have you got a necklace on there? Uh, I do, yeah. Um. This still, yeah, we still haven't found the artifact. We're looking for Arthema for him. Maybe unpetrify some more people. Even yeah, the petrified no aren't immune to the ravages of time, it seems. Maybe we should go back and talk to him, see what he has to say. Yeah. Oh, nearly leveled up. Nearly. It's close. Where is this bastard? He's down there. I think he can just kill it. Ah, you again. Any luck in old lady? Poor thing. Find the Tarquin side. I hate to enjoy us. No, we just haven't found the right crypt yet, I think. Oh wait, the thrice sealed chest as well is the Look out. needed a password, didn't it? Oh yeah, and you got the numbers on it. We've got the numbers, so look at that big brain. Yeah, it's two thousand IQ for you. Oh, did you get it as well? So you get some stuff. No, I'm just looting a coffin. Oh. Crossbow and a shitty amulet. Oh well, you need, well, you really need to hit rested before um, every fight. It protects you from being blind. Does it? Yeah, for free to. But looking at the chest, <laughs> you don't see any keyhole. You hear a deep rumbling from inside the chest, and a voice emerges. It hisses and clicks, but doesn't make any sense. The chest's chatter. Get the chest. This doesn't give you an option for anything. You hear a quiet hissing chuckle from the chest. It just says locked and doesn't give you an option to put any kind of code or anything like that. Hmm. I guess that isn't the uh, living there. Guess not. So, um. This part is gated off from the rest. Whoever is buried here must have been important. Alright, I also feel like I do smash it open, but I don't know what happens to the stuff inside if we do that. Here rests the dwarven hero Bromley. She served Lucy and the Divine with honor and cast out the demons that plagued the great woodlands. The implements of her heroism shall rest at the site of her victory. Secret unlocked. That, was that you who did that? I didn't do anything. Heroes rest. We found the burial place of four heroes. The valuables may be of use. Find the four heroes stash valuables. Bromley the hero buried valuables in the woods. Our map may help. Oh, is it? Here rests the lizard hero Vidya. She served Lucy and the Divine with great dignity and vanquished the strange beast that oh, yeah, from the primordial. Uh oh. Well. Okay. Uh 
Oh uh, yeah. What did you do? I was just looking. I was just being greedy. Okay, Jules. Same as always. <laughs> well, guys, we're coming up to an hour, so it's probably a good time to wrap things up here before we get into the fights. Thank you ever so much for watching. I greatly appreciate it, and I hope you've enjoyed it as much as we've enjoyed playing. It's been an absolute blast, as always. Don't forget to leave a like or a comment in the section down below, or consider subscribing if you want more video game content in the future. We'll be back with more Divinity Original Sin 2 real soon, so stay tuned for that. But until then, peace out, and as always, stay classy.